From Monroe to Ontario to Livingston, lines stretch out the door for early in-person voting. Absentee ballots are coming in by the thousand, too. So we're going to take our time and, and obviously double-check and cross-reference everything. According to Monroe County Republican Commissioner Lisa Nicolay, there's a lot the board has to do after they get those absentee ballots. We take all of the results of people who voted live or in person on Election Day and um, check it against our database of people who sent in an absentee ballot, and then we pull out those absentee ballots and put them aside and don't count them because obviously we don't want anyone to vote twice. And according to a document provided to News 8 by the Monroe County Democratic Commissioner's Office, they'll start to count them that Monday the 16th. Because it's the first time it's going to be this type of, uh, you know, large numbers of absentees combined with a presidential year, which um, we think the turnout is going to be could actually break a record here in Monroe County. Kathleen Donovan is a former professor of political science at St. John Fisher, saying the fact that we might not know the exact results right away might be for the best. And I guess the one thing I would encourage people to keep in mind is that accuracy is far more important than speed. Uh, and so while we live in a society with instant gratification uh, and we're all going to want to know the, the results, um, that it's important that, you know, the election officials have the time to count them accurately. And that's the message from Nicolay, asking folks to bear with them during and after the voting process. We are asking for your patience, not just for results, but when you go to vote.